Hi guys, Jangro here, and welcome to episode 7 of this Valhelsia Enhanced Vanilla Hardcore playthrough. This episode, I'm excited because we are finally getting into Tech Reborn. We're going to build a recycler that's going to help us deal with our resource issues. Before that, we're going to jump into and look at all of the different iron chests, something that I always overlook in mod packs when it's in there. Last time we covered dire bats, and you can see there are three. If you look closely, you see three of them hanging from the cliffs in the background. So they're just kind of hanging out everywhere. They just don't seem to despawn. I think it might be because they pick up items. And, you know, mobs that pick up items don't despawn. So we're going to watch out for those guys. So stick around and we're going to get going on uh, Tech Reborn. Before we get started in Tech Reborn, let's take a look at the iron chests, which is something I have always overlooked, but they're really useful, especially moving a lot of, moving a lot of things around your base. Um, there's the copper chest. It's a little bit bigger than a regular chest. Iron, gold, diamond, and emerald. Diamond and emerald are the same size, and otherwise they're progressively bigger as you go. And the crystal chest is the same size as well, and obsidian also the same size. You can see through a crystal chest. Uh, we just don't have any obsidian, so we're not gonna go there. So let's make some copper chests. These are kind of the basis of everything because essentially you need the lower tier chest to make the uh, chest that you're working on. So we'll make a bunch of uh, copper chests. Then to make an iron chest, four iron ingots and four pieces of glass. And there we have an iron chest. Now a gold chest is an iron chest surrounded by gold ingots. Emerald chest is a gold chest with an emerald and some glass. These are all really cheap for us because of the copper pan setup we have here. We'll make a few of these because we need an emerald chest to make a crystal chest. Okay, let's put these down next to each other and just kind of compare the sizes. And we'll put a regular chest down here at the end, which is three by nine. A copper chest is five by nine. An iron chest, six by nine. A gold chest, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by nine, 81. An emerald chest, is 12 across instead of nine and nine down. So that's 108 if my math is correct. Now a crystal chest is the same size, but it's cool because you can see what is inside it. So let's just put a few things in here. You can see them in there. And we're gonna put that right over by the door to hold our tools as we're coming in and out, just like this. All right, finally, let's take a look at Tech Reborn. Now the best way to get started with that is to really just take a look at the advancements. Now you can see I've already done some of these things because we, in the last episode, we made tree tap, sap, rubber, and some copper cables. And that opened up a few other things for us, battery and some, um, upgrades in the battery box. And as we scroll down here, we can see a few other things, find iron, but not much else because this expands as we craft some of these things. But we're as we've stated, we're gonna head straight toward the recycler. And for that, we need power and we need a generator, which is the basic power source in Tech Reborn. It's not very powerful, but it does the job initially. It needs a red cell battery, a basic machine frame, which is made with refined iron ingots, which are made from smelting iron ingots, which we've already done. I smelted a few stacks, so they should be in here. We'll grab one of those and we should get an advancement, which opens up a whole bunch of other things in the advancements screen, like the generator and a furnace and an alloy furnace that don't require power. We're actually probably gonna wanna replace our furnaces with that pretty soon in our super smelter, but this is the generator we're gonna make. Okay, so back over here to make 
The machine casings, we just make a bunch of those. I like the cable, we just can't have too many. Now we need a red cell battery and for that we need some cable and lead and we're also going to need some redstone. Let's run over and grab some of that. Grab a stack of redstone and now we should have everything we need. We'll make, we'll make the furnace, grab some cobblestone and a red cell battery. And now we can make our generator. Okay, so let's put it down right here. Fill it with coal and it starts to create power. All right, we're getting close. Let's make the recycler now, which needs circuit boards, some a compressor, which we need stone for. So let's grab some stone and dirt. And there is our compressor. And finally, we're going to just need some glowstone dust, which we've got some glowstone from our cleric. Let's just break one of those. Quickly grab some glowstone, and now we should be able to make the recycler. We'll put it down right here next to our generator. Now opening the recycler, we can see that it's getting power from the generator. So that's great. That's just automatic. We need something's touching the generator. And we need something to recycle. So let's let's grab a box of eggs. We'll drop that right on top. Configure the input to the generator to pull auto input from the top. And we also need to configure the crude storage unit to uh, output from the bottom. Doesn't need to be auto because that's getting pulled. And it's working. So now it is processing all these eggs and turning them into scrap. It's random how many, uh, so it's, I don't know, maybe a one in eight chance. So it might take several before a scrap gets created. So it's gonna burn through a lot of stuff to get scrap. So we're going to need some place for this scrap to go. So let's grab some chests and we'll put a chest down right next to the recycler and configure the output of the recycler to output automatically Orange is out on the right, and it's pushing all the scrap into the chest. Once we get to nine scraps, we can make a scrap box. So let's grab those nine, head over to the crafting table, put those in here, and we get a scrap box. And then you just right click in the air with the scrap box, and you get something. In this case, we get dark ashes. Not super exciting. All right, so let's try again. We've got seven scrap. We need two more to get another scrap box. While we're waiting for that, let's take a quick look at our advancements. You can see we got achievements for the compressor and the recycler. There's a lot of power options available now that we've made a generator. We're going to go quickly as, as quickly as we can to solar because that's passive energy and it will at least supplement the stronger sources like um, the thermal generator, which burns lava very efficiently. So we will need to still get lava, but there are ways to do that, especially with Tech Reborn. In any case, we're not going to rush through Tech Reborn. We're going to spend some time going through each of these things. So here we've got 14 scrap. Let's see what we got for a scrap box. And andradite dust. There are like dozens and dozens of tiny dusts. Um, and so we're, gonna, we're going to be dealing with a lot of those. 
And we've got one more. Let's just do one more scrap box quickly. Platinum nugget. Now that is a, I mean, it takes nine of those to make a platinum ingot, but platinum is pretty expensive. So that is a good get. So that's fun and all. Taking scrap, making them into scrap boxes, rolling the dice to see what we get, but we want to automate that. And to do that, we need an auto crafting table. That's made with iron plates, advanced circuits, and a crafting table in the middle. To make iron plates, we are going to need another compressor. And to make the advanced circuit, we need a basic circuit with glowstone, redstone, and some lapis. For the iron plates, fortunately, we already have everything we need for another compressor. So let's just drop that right over here next to our generator and it powers up. Grab some iron. Now, if you put a block of iron in the compressor instead of just an iron ingot, it takes the same amount of time and power to make nine as it does to make one. So now we've got nine iron plates out of that iron block. We're also gonna need some more glowstone. So let's quickly break up a bunch of those blocks. Grab some lapis. And I think that should be everything we need. Get our four advanced circuits. Need a crafting table for the middle. And we're good. And there's our auto crafting table. Okay, so now we'll put the crafting table, the auto crafting table, right here where that chest is. So let's move that chest out of the way. And we'll put the auto crafting table down right here. And it does not power. So we need cables. And we could use copper cables, but because we have so much gold, we're going to go straight to insulated gold cables. We're going to need some rubber for that. We've got 12 in here. We're tight on rubber. We'll just make as many as we need to, which is three right now. So we need gold cable. And then with the insulation from the rubber, we get insulated gold cables. We'll just get three of these total. All right, now we can go put these on the back of the generator and run it right over to the auto crafting table. And now it's getting power. Perfect. Next, we need to set up the recipe for the scrap box. So we put that in here with it locked. If it's unlocked, you'll see it will actually process those. But if we lock it, it will keep that as a kind of a template. So it uses up that first, those first ones. And as we pull things into that first slot, so we set that first slot to be auto input. And because it is a locked recipe like that, it just spreads things around. So if you put in a whole bunch of scrap, it's going to spread them around and will create scrap boxes or build the recipe. You can use this for anything, but it'll create scrap boxes as long as it has more than two, sorry, more than one in every slot. So at this point, we could just grab these scrap boxes and break them, and that would be fun, but we can automate this even more because there's a machine called a scrap boxinator which is made with a scrap box, some dirt, more iron plates, and some electronic circuits. So this is pretty cheap. We can make this, we can make this right now. So we've got iron plates, grab four of those. We've got one circuit, so we need to make another circuit. We need redstone for one more circuit. And some insulated copper cables. 
Do we have enough? Need six, yes. Just enough to make one more circuit. Perfect. All right, we'll make that. And can we make the scrap oxidator? Oh, we need dirt and one scrap box. So let's grab some dirt, grab a scrap box. And now we can make it. Okay, so we're going to put the scrap box scenario right down here next to the auto crafting table. So the output from the crafting table can go into the scrap box scenario. But it has no power and we have no more cables. We need one more gold cable. And we're out of rubber. So let's go grab some rubber quickly from our trees. There should be plenty of sap on them by now. And there's one. Oh, it's a bat. Okay. Where? I don't even know where I'm going. I'm I can handle this guy. I got to remember that I have, I have armor now. I can take a single bat. Man, they're scary. So they kind of just hide out, like under trees. Oh, all right. I'm going to go make some cable now, and I'll be right back. So we've cooked the sap into rubber, and we've got now six more insulated gold cables, one of which we just need to put on the back of our scrap boxinator. And now it's getting power. We just need to configure it now to get input from the left. and the crafting table to push output to the right. And there it goes. And it created a sapphire, which is cool, but we need some place for them to go because things are just getting backed up. It only holds one output. So we're gonna grab our emerald chest, which has 108 slots, which is important for the output of the scrap boxinator. A double chest just won't cut it with its 108 slots. So. Configure the output auto out on the right and it pushes the output into the emerald chest. So we've already got a couple things from the scrap boxes that poured in here, but now it's stopped because we don't have enough scrap. So let's grab some scrap that we had from before and just drop it right into the crafting table. And you can see that because of that recipe in there, it just spreads it around. And now it's processing these scrap boxes really quickly. And so we get some some good stuff here some tech reborn dusts you can see it's still spreading things through the crafting table going through the scrap boxinator and we're just getting more more and more stuff filling up this emerald chest a lot of it's gonna be junk like grass and we got a lot of beds a lot of fences and things like that so we're gonna set up a system that filters out all of the tech reborn stuff from the junk from the good stuff from the you know vanilla stuff that we want to keep there's things like shulker shells and blaze rods and diamonds that we'll get and we'll want to keep those before we do that we're going to move this whole setup to a different location this was just temporary so we could just build this quickly here so we're going to move this upstairs and to do that i hate going up and down stairs so we're going to build some quartz elevators and for that we need nether quartz so we head into the nether and this was such an adventure that i am leaving it all out of this video and we're going to make a whole different video about our trip into the nether and as you can see here we've got some things in our dump chest diamond sword with pain Bane of the Swine, which means we took on a Bastion. As you can see, there's also a second spawner there, which we found while we were getting Obsidian. So that's all a teaser for the next video. We're going to put all that into a, in a whole new one. But the point of going there was to get another quartz to make these quartz elevators. And I've already made a few, but let's just make a few more. They're a ender pearl block surrounded by another quartz. 
And an ender pearl block is made with four ender pearls, which we get really cheap from our cleric upstairs. And we surround those with quartz, nether quartz, and we get quartz elevators. Now these quartz elevators allow you to teleport up and down uh, to, to blocks that are above and below each other. And the plain quartz elevators let you teleport 16 blocks, I think, and if you make them into smooth quartz elevators by smelting them, they can teleport you 64 blocks. So we'll just drop those into our super smelter, which has been enhanced with the Tech Reborn furnaces. So there's really no sense in not turning. Look at that. I put my pickaxe in there. That would be really sad if that smelted. So there's really no point in not, in not turning them into smooth quartz. Now these, just while that's cooking and we're waiting for those to, to travel through the pipes, let's just take a look at the XP. The These iron furnaces allow you to grab the XP right out of them. And it, so we can see 566 and we'll, this is 3%. And I'm not sure what that means because we got, to 571 so 5 XP was 3% of something and that's not I don't know is it 3% to the next Minecraft level I'm not sure we're gonna need to do a little more testing to figure out what that's about so anyway we will now just kind of grab all the XP quickly from these furnaces which is great for a super smelter and getting XP whereas with regular furnaces you need to like stop the flow of items out so you can grab an item to get all the stored XP or break it to get all the XP. So this just makes it really easy to get XP from your smelter. All right, now let's grab our quartz elevators that have moved over here into the overflow chests. And we're gonna put them right here. There's a room upstairs. And we're gonna put an elevator here. We're just gonna be able to run in. <laughs> Try this, run in and jump on the elevator. So put one there and this can now teleport up and down 64 blocks if there's another block above or below it. So we're gonna, there's a room up here, break a hole, can see, you should see the room through there and we'll put the block right there. And now if we just jump, we teleport up. And I've already put a few things up here and there's also been Enderman at work up here. But this is where we're going to build our Tech Reborn stuff. All right, so I think we're going to wrap up there. That's a good place to stop. If I added in our trip to the nether, that would like double the size of the length of this video. So we'll do that in the next one. And then after that, we're going to dig more into Tech Reborn. I'm going to try to introduce Applied Energistics at the same time because that's what's great about mod packs is how the different mods work together and those two work together really great. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the video and comment. Let me know what you think. Helps the channel out a lot. We'll see you next time. Thanks.